Okay, Sagittarius, oh, this is your June 2024 love reading. And I'm doing all the signs because it is a monthly reading. I'm not sure how many of them get done at a time. So I'm feeling it. I'm doing, there's a lot going on in my life right now. So I'm a little tired. So let's see what we can get done. This is a different type of, um, it's a, the love Celtic cross. So it's a little different. So let's see what we have going on. Now this could be someone that you're dealing with personally now. This could be someone that you're interested in. It could be someone from your past. This could be someone you didn't meet yet. It could be anyone. So let's see what's going on. So you just put it in the way it works for you, where it may make sense. Let's first start with the real situation, where you are, where you stand right now, where you're at, where, where you're standing. Let's see. Let's see what we have. So we have here reflecting soul searching deep introspection evaluation evaluation sorry hermit energy the void period okay so yes yeah, someone is maybe reflecting maybe you're not doing anything right now maybe you're just going within trying to find yourself almost feel like you're, you're saying you know i don't need anyone in my life right now i'm trying to figure things out that could be maybe you're both doing that maybe you haven't met yet let's see what's going on Ooh. So we have the Nine of Cups here. So this would be wish fulfillment, dreams come true. And maybe that's what you're doing. You're working on something. You might be trying to manifest something. I wouldn't be surprised if I... It almost feels like magician er, uh, energy here. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone is just trying to plan something to try to make their wishes come true. Let's see what's crossing you. Now this would be the biggest barrier. Um, often it's about communication. So we have here illusions, limitations, anxiety, comfort, comfort zone, overthinking, negative outlook. So this would be fears. This would be, you know, this is like the nine of swords or eight of swords here. I would say probably nine of swords. Someone's feeling a lot of anxiety and stress over something here. Okay. We have here, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. So someone could be just, you know, maybe setting boundaries here because a little nervous about something. There's too much anxiety, too much stress here. And we're starting out with this someone going deep within trying to figure out something. It almost feels like, you know what, I'm going to set these boundaries. I'm going to do what I need to do until I feel right about something here. It's also, could be, you know, I'm not settling for anything less. So let's see, what's the best thing you can do? What do we have for the best thing we can do? So we have alchemy, ancestor, guys. So it's the temperance card, balance, healing, moderation, transforma transmutation, and um, patience. Yeah, just be patient with yourself. You know, let yourself work through whatever you're doing here. And this is your card, too. So be patient with yourself and just know that you're you're where you're supposed to be. And don't don't try to rush yourself. If you're not in a connection, so what? You know, I so many people feel like they have to be in a connection every every minute of the day. I don't understand that. I never did. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'd rather be alone than being dealing with someone's trauma. I, I don't know how many people that I know. They can't be without a, a, a person. And every time they get into something new, it's drama. It's pain. But as long as they're not by themselves, because they can't, God, how, how bad it's look they're by themselves. That's weird, I think. But anyway, Eight of Swords here. Yes, look, someone's worried about something here. But it's like, just be patient with yourself. Don't rush into anything. Okay, so now let's look about the karmic ties, the past life ties with someone here. This could be someone you're ready with. This could be someone from your past. And this could also be someone you haven't met yet. But there could be a strong connection from the past life that is going to come in here. Come on, guys. Okay, so we have here the moon, intuition, 
subconscious emotions, fear, um, deceit. Things are not as they appear. So someone might have hid something in the past, past life, something here. Intuition was very strong, maybe in the past life. Someone could have been very intuitive in the past life, and they couldn't let people know because they could get they could get in trouble. <laughs> You know, it feels like something like that. Pisces energy with the moon. Let's see what else we have. So we have here the Fool and the Page of Swords. Okay. So some kind of connection with someone here that you want a new beginning with or they want a new beginning with you. And um, you might be learning something here. We got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords could be... Someone going back to school, someone learning something, someone very inquisitive. Any of the sore signs, you know, they're really into mental activity. So it could be learning something, studying something, researching something, looking for information, trying to find something else. You have the hermit that came up, so it could be like you're really digging deep here for something. Let me get a charm on this page of sores. Spy guy, spy girl, too. Let's see. We have here, yeah, definitely a past life with the person that you're going to be dealing with or yet or Either you are dealing with, has have dealt with, or going to deal with. Because once I get the tree, I know this is a past life. The tree and the dinosaur, for sure. Let's see here. We have here drama, excited, marry, admitted. Okay, maybe this was someone like in the past. There was drama, something about being married or wanting to be married. Someone got very excited about it. something happened though. Okay, but definitely a strong connection. Might have been someone hiding something here, holding it back, maybe not really expressing themselves. Okay, so now let's see why you are together or why are you going to be together. Let's look at that. So we have here regrets, um, repression, holding back, suffering in silence, blocking thoughts and memories. So someone is really feeling bad about something here. A lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Five of Cups energy. Let's see what else we have. Justice. Okay, someone probably wants to bring in justice. This can be also when someone wants to contract Libra energy. Yeah, but it feels like someone wants to bring justice to the situation. Something was unfair, and maybe that's why you guys are together. Because you have to right a wrong. You might have to straighten out what happened in the past, your past life. And that's why you're together. So let's see what the future influences are. What are the future influences for you guys? So we have here release so surrender emotional release it's a clearing and walking away it's an eight of cups so someone is in the future is going to either walk away from the situation or maybe walk away from something else to come towards the situation either you or them or both so that's what's happening in the future someone's leaving something and we have here, and they're worried about it. Someone might be leaving a family in order to be with you, or you might be doing the same, or um, something is stressing out about something happening here so they, you could have a family together. Could we have the Ten of Cups here? Family's involved somehow, it seems. And someone needs to release something. And someone's stressing over it. So that's what's going to happen. So in the future, it has to leave someone or leave something in order to be together. And is stressing them out. Okay. Now let's see about how you see things. Your perspective. How do they look to you? Let's see. Okay. A reunion. So we have reunion, soul ties, soulmate, uh, faded partnership, past life connection, and past returns, and then we have here uh, release, open, 
and it's um, receptivity, opening up, generosity, gifts, assistance. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so in your eyes, you see that you guys me are meant to be together. This is past life connection. This is faded. This is meant to be. This also, you see, it even give and take with this person. Okay, let's clarify now. So now we have here the Five of Wands. But you might have to fight for this, this connection. Or you um, there might be competition. Or it's not that easy. So whatever it is. And Five has changed though. Something's changed. Now let's see how your person, your partner, how do they look at the this? How is, what's their perspective? How do they see this? So we have your Ace of Waters, healing, romantic offer, renewal in love, compassion, emotions, new love. So Ace of Cups, they have a lot of love for you. They see this as this could work. They feel that this really can work. It feels like the doubt is more on your side. So what do you have to do? And maybe you the one have to walk away from something. We have, oh yeah, look at this Three of Swords. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of pain here. Look at this person, Three of Swords. They love you, they see this working, but there's a third party here. And that third party co connection is very painful. Okay, now let's see how your energy flows together. Chemistry, magnetic, two of cups, and we have here passion, mutual feelings, feeling drawn to someone. Yeah, you guys, there's a lot of passion between you guys. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the sun, happiness, Leo energy. I don't know, guys. This is fiery. This is passionate. You both feel it. Very strong. Okay, so now, the possible outcome. So we have here self-care. So it's um low energy depleted, cleansing, wanting time alone, recharge, retreat. So you both might feel like you need to take a little time out. I think you've been both pulled in different directions. You both have a lot on your plate in, in different ways. Okay. <clears throat> I think you've both been busy. Okay, and we have here separation. So lost love, longing, abandoned, divorce, broken dreams, heartbreak, grief. Ooh, it's kind of heavy cards here. Okay. <clears throat> it feels like, a you know, a forbidden love or something. It feels like there's a lot of love here, but why aren't you guys together? Let's see. So let's see what else we have for the outcome. Oh, come on now. It's like the cards don't want to come out. So we have here, okay, inner child healing. So we have um, wounding, coping mechanism, learned behavior, self-discovery. Okay, you know what? It's feeling weird that you guys are being brought together. But you know what? You both have some childhood drama that is coming up because of this connection it's like triggering something here that has to be worked on and we have here mercury which you don't see coming mercury uh, messages travel communication text phone call downloads news is on its way so there's going to be some kind of communication but this whole thing is like saying you guys were brought together because 
during your childhood you both went through some stuff and it's like you're going to be talking about it it's going to help you heal wow okay so let's see here now what was this card okay the self-care this is a low energy depleted okay let's see about that yeah you know, why you guys why is your energy so low depleted what's going on here what do we have okay we have here the five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles okay so someone feeling left out in the cold here someone is also someone might be starting their own business or doing their own business doing quite well financially but there might be someone you have to watch or someone that is someone you don't trust someone's being sneaky around your business around your money around a situation so i feel like both of you feel like you have a lot of energy as far as normally but because so much is going on like in different areas of your life it feels like you're getting attacked on all sides almost is what i'm feeling for someone here let's see about this um separation the lost okay why do we have that here two okay so we have here seven of swords and the two of pentacles someone's trying to juggle something make a decision try to figure something out almost feel like someone's swallowing the truth here it's like the seven of swords is usually someone holding back they could be lying cheating stealing they could be just not wanting to let someone know something i feel like someone is swallowing the truth because if they feel like that's the right thing to do at this time they don't want to hurt you i think so that's what they're doing okay and then we have here the inner child the healing the wounded let's see about that why is that here so we have here ace of cups wow so there is a lot of love here and we have the devil could be what a capricorn this also could be fear it could be jealousy it could be obsession possessiveness possessiveness sorry addictions there's a lot of healing going on between the two of you that's what it feels like and it feels like the mercury the healing the, there's going to be communication i wonder if this is forbidden here it almost feels like a forbidden love. There's bondage here, or there's some kind of strong tie. There, um, there's a lot of fear, too. Maybe fear around communicating, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It almost feels like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Stuff that we're not seeing here. Okay, so let's see. What signs can we deal with, deal with here? Placement, your chart, placement, other charts, past, present, and future. Let's see what we have. So we have Aries. And Libra. Scorpio Leo Taurus and the bottom deck we have Gemini okay so placement year chart placement other people chart past present and future we have Aries Libra Scorpio Leo Taurus and Gemini. Now we do the letters, the 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have A, E, G, L, Q, L D 
Z, S, K, G. Okay, the letters we have for today are A, E, G, L, Q, L, D, Z, S, K, G. All right, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate with you, you can check out your other signs. They're not all going to be posted right away. I think I'm going to be doing four at a time. I think I'm stopping after this one. What gives me four for these will be posted on Thursday. And then I'll try to do six or four. For, and I'll probably do four and four because there's a lot going on right now. And we got the um, Memorial Day um, weekend coming up. So, um, yeah, I think it'll be four at a time because I don't think I could do any more. I'm tired and there's a little, I've been doing a lot. So, anyway, if this does not resonate, check out your other placements when they're up. Um, if you just checked out your sun, you can always check out your moon, your rising, your reading sign. Something might resonate with you more, given that missing pink, the missing link, the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together. But thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon.